A lot more detail about this, and if you would like to see the Legislative Finance Committee report on the supercomputer, you can go to newslinks at krqe.com. Any uh, chance we could stick the state budget in that supercomputer? <laughs> see what? Crunch it yeah. a little bit. Hey, I'm just a problem solver here. All right, let's show you what's going on, and let's talk sumo wrestlers, you guys. All right. All right, today was cold. We only hit a high around 15 degrees, and that's because cold air is very heavy air. Think of it like a sumo wrestler sitting over the state of New Mexico. You get some of the lighter air that comes in, nice tan and, well, nice shorts, if you call them that, as they bounce off and they just can't get any traction here. Well, that's because the sumo guy is too heavy. Well, eventually, this is going to start to change, and really it starts to change for tomorrow. But really cold air is hard to move, and oftentimes the models want to move it on out of here before it's ready to go. And usually it takes uh, sometimes two, three days longer in these cases to get that cold air scoured out of here and modified. That's starting to happen now, but it's got a little ways to go. Ten degrees in the metro area right now. As far as the current temperatures go for us across the north, we are seeing some warming and some cloud cover around Ratona 24, 12 Las Vegas, and across the south, pretty much single digits across the board. So it is still very very cold out there, but we do have one little weather disturbance churning across southern Colorado tonight. That's going to cross northern New Mexico during the overnight hours and across the northeast. Could see one to three inches of snow at resort level across the Sangre de Cristo and maybe an inch or so around the northeast highlands for us as well. Not going to be a real big deal. Could even get a dusting around the Sandias and Manzanos, but this thing for the most part is just going to kind of curl on out of the state, and then we're going to have another system behind this. So here's what the mountains are looking at because they're going to be the focus through the weekend here. One to two inches possible tonight. Three to six inches will be possible with another weather disturbance coming on in here for late Saturday into Sunday. One to four inches for our high resorts across the Sangre de Cristos. Four to eight inches will be possible late Saturday into Sunday. Sandias and Manzanos mainly just cold for tonight, but the possibility of some light snow on Saturday. And same deal across the south. We're going to be quiet over the next couple of days, but then into next week, we will get another storm going here because the long-range forecast shows at least some storms in the area for us. We start off warm here over the next day or so, but then as we get into the weekend, we curl that one storm system in here for Saturday into Sunday, and then it looks like we have another chance at another storm system coming on in here for the middle of next week. This one bears some watching here because it could be an issue for us as we push throughout, say, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So we'll watch that for you as well. There's plenty of action out there, and temperatures will be warming. 20s and 30s for us across the four corners here for tomorrow. Much better, and then snow showers across the San Juan Saturday into Sunday with another round Monday into Tuesday. Down to the south and west, things relatively quiet here for tomorrow. 30s and 40s getting closer to where you'd like to see them for this time of year, but still colder than average. South and east, 30s and 40s here after a start below zero in places like Roswell. And then Roswell going to warm up nicely into Saturday and Sunday with temperatures in the mid-50s. If we're going to see some snow showers tonight, one of the areas that could pick them up are the northeast where temperatures will be very, very cold, and temperatures tomorrow afternoon, though, will be in the 30s and 40s. Northern mountains, very cold for tonight, but not as cold as it could have been without that little weather disturbance. Cloud cover going to help us hold on to some heat and give us some snow showers tonight, and then the possibility of another storm coming into the mix Monday into Tuesday. East mountains, temps topping out for us. In the 30s for tomorrow with a very cold start. And here in the metro, below zero down in the valley. You want to go above zero, go to the heights. We're a balmy five. We'll start the day, but then we'll warm up to 36 degrees. Hopefully, if we can kick the sumo wrestler out, seven-day forecast temperatures hanging in the 40s for us Saturday. Some and of those Sunday. morning to afternoon temperature spreads tomorrow, 40 degrees. That's yeah, I know we had 50 the other day, too. Yeah. Good deal. All right. Well, sports is next. All I ever talk about is that boat. The boat.